Hey everybody, Scott Brown here, Construction Technology Partners. Uh, I'm here today, I wanna to do a quick overview of our Site Metric C631 kit. Kind of show you everything that comes in the kit and a little bit about each component and how it can help benefit you and your company. So I'm gonna start out with the main components of the kit, obviously, of our Basin River receiver. So this is the C631 receiver from Hemisphere. Uh, really excellent receiver. You're gonna get multi-constellation. You're gonna track all signals, all satellites. Uh, open sky the other day when I was uh, showing this to a customer, we were seeing 42 satellites. Uh, haven't had any other receivers yet that have got me that kind of coverage. Work really great in Canopy. So I'll tell you a little bit about the receiver. The only button we have is our power button. We can configure these via web UI to, uh, they have voice, which is nice. You know, we don't, not voice control, but we'll talk to us, kind of like some of the receivers of the past. On the bottom of the receiver, we got our typical 5 8 by 11 mount in the kit. Each one comes with a quick connect. Um, under here, we got two doors that are popped off by a release. So that door pops off of there. These are our battery doors. Underneath here, we have a spot for a SIM card and then for an expansion card. Uh, underneath here, we have, this is where our batteries install. We have these uh, really great geotronic batteries. We've seen really good performance and life out of these. They also have a charge indicator on them, which is super handy because uh, you can know right away if your batteries are charged before you put them in and go out in the field. So these installed in the receiver real simply, they just clip right in. It will run off one battery. These are hot swappable. So if we got one battery that's going low, we can see that in the software and in the web UI. If we got one that's going low, we can swap it out at any time. We don't have to power down the receiver. So we got both our batteries installed and the doors are interchangeable from side to side. So these will clip back on and we can just, there's a lock here that locks those on. So now our receivers got batteries, it's ready to get powered up. One more thing about the receivers, these are both RXTX, so we can set them both up as a base, both up as a rover, just configure them how you want. Next really nice feature about these receivers, as you can see here, we got four antennas. So inside these receivers, we have a UHF board as well as a FreeWave 900 board. So we have the ability to run uh, you know, 450 megahertz UHF or a 900 spread spectrum radio. It's easy to switch via web UI or through the software. On the bottom of the receiver, we just have our antenna port. They're both TNC antennas. So depending on what radio you wanna run, we're just gonna thread that the, the radio. These are also 90 degree antennas, which is nice. So two UHF antennas, two 900. So once we install our antenna, we got those configured appropriately. But one last thing on the antenna is if we're gonna set our base up and we wanna get that antenna facing up, increase our coverage a little bit, we do have this nice bracket that works really well. And we can mount with our tripod or our base pole. It's gonna get that antenna out and facing up, give you a little bit better coverage. That's included in every kit. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and stick with the cabling on the receivers. Also comes in the kit, alligator clip, battery power cable that uh, utilizes our programming cable to charge up the receivers. That's included in every kit. With the batteries, the kit comes with four batteries. It also has enough chargers to charge all the batteries at once. Uh, so we can, so we got two chargers for a total of four charging ports. Each charger comes with a wall plug as well as a car adapter plug. So really nice, gives you a ton of options to get your batteries charged up in the field. Uh, like I said, we've been seeing really good performance life out of these. Depends on how much, you know, what wattage you're running your radios at and, and what mode you're running in. Um, so that pretty much takes care of the receiver portion of it. Uh, when it comes to data collector, we've chosen to run the HT20. Uh, many people are probably real familiar with this display. Juniper Systems, Mesa 3, uh, but Hemisphere we've got is an HT20 Windows 10 display. Really great screen, really rugged, really reliable display. Uh, stylus attached. We do order all these with modems in them so you can add a SIM card and connection, remote connection capability if you want. Got our standard pole mount set up with a RAM mount. And this is the plastic RAM mount bracket. They have the metal ones. We still prefer the, the plastic ones. I think they, they hold a little bit better. All included in the kit. And then obviously our wall charger for our data collector. And 
And the kit also includes a tense tape with the metric as well if you're setting up on a tripod. Everything you see here fits nicely inside this hard nanite case. It's got nice molding inside the case that allows everything to, everything's got a place, everything's got a home. Everything fits quite nicely in here. and allows for a really, really pretty lightweight setup and easy to get around basin rover system. So if you wanna see great performance, great reliability, and, uh, and a really nice package at an affordable price, give us a call where we can set up, get you more information or schedule a demo, get you to check out the new uh, C631 receivers.